everyone this is Sudipto from technical pot Powdy. today i'll be showing a new feature that is coming with spring 21 so it's first release and it's about how you can create multi-column screens in flow builder so let's jump in and create a new flow so when you log into your spring 21 org you need to go to the setup and click on flow that will enable your flow and you need to click on this one new flow since this is going to be a screen flow we'll start with the screen we'll select this option and click on next and choose free form here what we'll do we'll first start with a screen element uh, let's give it a name let's say screen one okay and then if you go a little below you'll find a new option called sec section beta it's in a beta mode right now uh, but it's you know it, it, it this is a new thing uh, which is coming along with spring 21 and this this video is all about this uh, new feature so drag and drag and drop that in your screen once you do that you'll find that you have an option to configure columns uh, currently it's it start with a column one there's, there's only one column but you can keep on adding columns currently only four column maximum four columns that you you can only add so let me add four columns one two three let me uh, you can add four uh, but yeah that's the maximum number of columns that you can add but let me you know start with the three so let me delete the fourth one once you have all your columns added you can drag and drop individual elements on this column so for the first one let me add a text field here on this one and let's say it's a first name okay let's me it's a required field in the second one let me put it a last name in this one let me put is uh, let me put a toggle and let me put the name of the toggle as display image and display image right once you have done all this thing like now you can see like we we are, we are configuring a screen in the screen we have three columns the first column is all about the first name in the second column where we are capturing the last name third column is a toggle button and let me put one more section here that's section two in this section let me add an image even though it's a one it's a one element right we don't need a section uh, but yeah, I'm just for this example. I'm giving I'm just using a section. So display image uh, Let me put an image here. Uh, I've already I think I've already uh, Uploaded an image or as a static resource. So If I go to the static resources uh, There is an image called technical pot Pody. So the beauty is like once you add that image as a stat, as a static resource, just take, just get the name of that uh, static resource and use that in the image name. You don't need to put in the entire path or all this thing, right? If you use the display image component from the flow, just put the static resource name and it will take care of everything. Now the now, now the solution that we are building, when the screen will be, you know, when you run the flow, initially the image will not be displayed. The image will only be displayed when this toggle button will be active right you know you have a on and off initially the toggle will be off but when you enable that option when you on the toggle button then only the display will image will uh, then then only the image will be displayed so how we can do that in the display image there is a component visibility currently is set as always so instead of that we'll make it a conditional display and what we'll do is that there is a toggle button here uh, value equals to true so what is telling only when this toggle button will be on then only display the image if it is off hide the image so now let's save the image uh, let's save the flow and give it a name let's say multi column save and okay so it's not connected so let me connect that and save as once it's done let's activate and run the flow so once you run the flow 
you will find there is a first name, there is a last name, there is a toggle button, but there is no image. So let me put the first name, Sudipta. Let me put the second name. We can do that. And it, you can see like it's a it's a column. So this is the first column, this is the second column, and this is the third column. Now the moment they click on this one, the entire image is coming up here. Yep. So now if I if I deactivate that, image is gone. So that's the beauty. That's the beauty of this new feature. Uh, so in Spring 21, you will have an option to configure your flow with a multi-column. It was it was like you know uh, very much required feature from a from the Salesforce Ohana or people who are using Salesforce for a long time. And I'm very happy that Salesforce is bringing this new feature now. So try explore this feature and let me know how you like it. Thank you. If you like this video please subscribe and share with other people.